Um, and maybe we will play some Planet Coaster again soon, um, now that I've been inspired. But, um, the guys uh, who published this tiny build gave me a key for this game uh, the week before I left. And uh, I've been meaning to play it. I guess it's Stardew Valley, but you make a graveyard? I, I think, I don't know. This is literally the first time I've played it, so um, we'll, uh, we'll try it. We'll try it out. Too many penis suckings. You know what? It's true. I did a lot of that at Disneyland Paris as well. There were so many penises around. I just had to suck them all. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a little bit croaky from all of that as well. Yeah. No, it was good. It was it was a nice uh, it was a nice vacation. It was was not a restful vacation. Uh, I need to have another vacation to recover from this vacation. Lucky for me, in three weeks, I'm going on another vacation. <laughs> I'm going to Oktoberfest in Munich for a couple of days. Uh, so that'll be uh, hopefully more restful. It, it, there'll be a lot of penis sucking on that trip and uh, also beer drinking. What the heck? I know. I know. I know. I can't stop going away on... Uh, I will be shit-faced for a few days. That's right. Oktoberfest with the boys. Yeah, that's right. Oktoberfest. I've never been. Uh, my friends have been like 12 times and they keep saying that it's amazing uh, so a couple of them are going and I said you know what I'm going too so I'm going it's gonna be it's gonna be great shift the beers right in your mouth I will <laughs> Ravs what's up Ravs holy shit Ravs Jesus Christ hang on a second Ravs I have to um, I have to mod you there we go we have a new mod now it's Ravs uh, I don't know if you know Ravs but uh, I know Ravs so there you go uh, put the beer in my assholeio. My cool, thanks so much for fucking, um, gifting like 50 subs to people. That's crazy. And everybody else, thank you very much for, uh, the bits and the, uh, the donations and stuff as well. I appreciate it. There's been a lot of sub- You look, we'll do all the shoutouts and stuff at the end of the stream because there's too many and, I'm um, lazy. I hope that that's, uh, okay. Everybody's gonna get banned by <laughs> Ravs. Don't ban everybody. Please don't. Try not to. Ravioli, ravioli beer in the assholey. Yes. Um, all right. So, um, like I said, I've never played this before, but it looks fine. It looks. I love the graphics. I like the pixely graphics and stuff. From what I can tell, it's like Stardew Valley, except you create a graveyard and potentially you have to like um, put people into the graveyard and stuff. I think you can do some farming and stuff as well. From what I've seen, um, there's a live streaming option here for. Mixer? I don't know what that means. I don't know what Mixer even is. Um, but there you go. Yeah. Now now we broke it. I don't know what that does. Don't say those nasty words. Mixer. I broke everything. It leaked. Alright, okay. I, I don't know what Mixer is, but there you go. Uh, new game, I guess? Yeah? Is the volume okay? Is it too loud? Is it not loud enough? Does it seem okay? Uh, do you want me to turn it up a little bit? Click on play? I'm dead now. Yeah, Mixer is Microsoft's version of 12K. It is an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Is this Japanese or something? It's totally Japanese, right? What happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see, your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. We have a new task to find Jerry. Oh, I like the graphics. They're very like Final Fantasy 3, aren't they? We can cook some stuff. I can make some berry juice. I don't have any berries. I have a chest here with nothing in it. I can cook uh, stuff in an oven here as well. Uh, the, the hatch is closed for now. Okay, I see. So it's like, uh, it's gonna be like Stardew in that you have to do stuff to unlock stuff and open things up and stuff, right? Is there a community center that I can uh, complete as well? I like.
Is that gonna keep doing that? <laughs> what is, <laughs> is it gonna keep doing that? <laughs> Why did that just come up? What, what? Yes, it will keep, <laughs> I have to restart. Oh my God, okay, let me restart this game. Hang on a second. I don't want that to keep happening. It's gonna totally bust my immersion. We're never gonna be able to recover from it. Hey, Purple Assassin 2, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. I don't know why, um, I don't, I don't know why the thing didn't, let me see, hang on a second. Why didn't the thing come up? Let me see. Text to speech. Did I change this? No, I didn't change it. Why didn't we get a, why didn't we get like a notification about that? Does anyone know? Do you want me to send a test one? A test subscription. That, that works. Test donation. You're doing great. John, thanks this is a test donation for pound. Fuck, thanks so much. Okay, I guess it's kind of working, but maybe it didn't. Is it the 4 million subs my cool just did? It, it might, might have been, actually. Should we test bits as well? You're doing great, Dad! I, I, I donated This five. is a test bit alert. Thanks so much myself for the bits. I appreciate that, too. Okay, let's try relaunching this game, and hopefully we don't get that thing, like, over. You're doing great, Dad! I love the voice is so good, isn't it? I don't know why it's not working though. It's kind of weird, isn't it? No, it's a yeah. We got it's a new alert thanks to the guy on Reddit who who captured the audio and then I downloaded it. It was great. Play. Uh, we didn't save. Okay, I can read the first part of this thing now though, right? I can read this first part now. See what it says because I missed it. I was talking too much. There's an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him. Okay, that's all it said. We have to watch this whole goddamn thing again. My subs are still going through, so it hasn't caught up yet. Oh my god, my cool, that's crazy. 50 subs though, that's nuts. This game is Japanese, right? It's gotta be. It's translated from Japanese. Tell me I'm tell me I'm 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 wrong. I dare you. No, it's Russian. Oh right. So many subs it broke the zip spot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So we have to go dig up Jerry. Oh yeah, I like these graphics a lot. This is great, isn't it? I wish Stardew Valley had graphics as good as this. This is so much better. We can build stuff, but I can't do that right now. Got a well over here. Not right now. Okay, I, I get it. I have we guess we have to dig up Jerry first before we can do anything. Look at all this. Man, my graveyard is gonna be fucking extraordinary. I can't wait. Can I pick up this crap as well? Not yet. I can't do anything just yet. Not right now. Okay, let's dig up Jerry and then see what happens. Oh, I see. He's gotta get into position to do it. Holy sard, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm, why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig, dig up Jerry. A red eye, I remember. Oh, Sard, that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you, who are you and where the Sard are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. Um, I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here's a donkey. Look at this. What's up? Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. <laughs> You can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. That's a lot of carrots. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Oh shit, he just dropped off a, a dead body. Wait. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. 
I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. Oh, I am going to puke. Let's do it. What puke? Use E to pick up and drop large items. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Sard, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh, yes. Yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way! This isn't right! Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia! Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here! So shut the, sh shut the sword up and do what I tell you! You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie! And then bring the beer to me. You've unlocked a new technology and got preparation place blueprint and a pallet blueprint. And I can extract flesh apparently. Alright, so far so good. Autopsy table? We can do an autopsy. Autops autopsy table with body. Some body parts. Flesh. Extract the flesh. Yes. Oh, that's really gross. You've unlocked a new technology and got create a burger, create a sandwich, and create baked meat. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Oh shit. Yeah, here we go. Okay, how do I pick this bad boy up now? Take the body. Alright, let's take it to the graveyard. Oh yeah, look at our graveyard. It needs some work doing to it though, look. It's spooky. It's just like spooky land in Jeff land, but maybe spookier. Let's bury it. Use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave, then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body or remains of it in the grave. Bury. Decorate. Warning. Do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Okay. Goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Why is that? Oh, we got a rusty shovel. So, hang on. We have to go to the blueprint table. We need a grave site. Oh, I see. Okay, let's bury this bad boy like where do we want to bury it like here? Let's put it right here Okay, and then we want to dig up the grave Nice, and then we want to pick this up and put the corpse in and then Oh, that's great. Nicely done. Hmm, this burial certificate. I remember money, alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, the crusty old bishop. I, I should have known. Uh-oh. I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I'd better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? All right, Bishop. <laughs> ah, Keeper! There you are! I love the graphics. They're fucking great. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. All right, sure. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so we have, we have some goals. Current location name. Important location information, the graveyard quality, the church appeal, etc. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. You've unlocked a new technology and got create wooden marker. <laughs> Cleric is a good class. It worked! <laughs> Sips, what did you bring us back from France? Um, I what did I bring you back from France? Be shipperous. Thanks so much for the uh for the bits. I didn't bring back shit! You know what? Fuck my kids bought so much fucking shit at Disneyland, it's crazy. We had suitcases and suitcases filled with shit. The moment we got there, okay? The minute we got I haven't been paying attention to this guy at all. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... Sips, 
I had Wheel. forgotten how much your forehead blinds me. But Miranas, thanks so much for the donation. Sorry for Sorry for blinding you. It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know how much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha ha. I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. I'm not the keeper. I was coming home from work. How can I fix the graveyard? About the certificate, leave. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. To craft new items, you need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press tab to open the tech tree. Red points represent your hand crafting skills and your ability to work with materials. Green points represent your knowledge about nature and the things and nature itself. Blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. You earn points simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying new items at a special table. You've unlocked a new technology and got stone stockpile. And gathering stone rock, you can collect a small piece of stone from a small rock to get a huge piece from a big one. Timber stockpile as well. Chop down a small tree to get one log. You can collect sticks from dry bushes. Oh my god. Look at all this crap. The concept of wood and the concept of stone. Mining and sawing. So we need to do stuff to unlock all this stuff. Graveyard Keeper, Jerry, Bishop, and Donkey are known NPCs. My character great, currently has a rusty Sips shovel. mate, how's it going? I also just got back from a two-week holiday in Spain. Oh. Thought I'd start the first stream back with a donation. Let's Purple. get this bad boy started and have a dick ripper of a day, lads. Purple Assassin 2, thanks so much, man. Okay, so listen, I didn't bring you guys back anything from Disneyland, but the moment we got to Disneyland, we arrived, right? And we were, um, and I was checking into the hotel, and I have two kids, right? Two small kids, so, um, and the line was big to check in. So, I said to my wife, why don't you take the kids and have a look around and stuff, and I'll check in and like go to the bathroom and stuff she's like, she's like okay cool my daughter's like two and a half she's like going through like that that stage in her life where if things don't go her way she is like on the verge of having a massive screaming meltdown at at, at, at any point right so we're we're sort of like we tread carefully around her like you, you have to walk on eggshells because we don't want her to like start screaming in public and stuff like that and it's got to be said for the most part she doesn't but she's always on the brink, right? So they go off and wander off or whatever, and there I am checking into the hotel. Um, and they and they come back and they're like, we we had a look around, but you know, like like she was about to start screaming, so we couldn't go to the bathroom. So you know, can she stay with you? Uh, can you wait? And uh, you know, we'll go off to the bathroom. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. So she's like, I want to go upstairs. I was like, well, I, I got your buggy and stuff. We can't go upstairs. I can't just leave all the stuff here. And she's like, I want to go upstairs. So I was like, okay, fine. I like, so I had to find a, a place to park up the buggy. And then I took, and then we went upstairs. And I was like, we'll go up the stairs and then we'll just walk down the stairs again so I can still see the buggy and all the stuff, right? And she's, so she's like, yeah, okay, fine. So we walk up the stairs and then she's like, I want to go that way. I was like, what the fuck? Like, how, why, why do you want to go that way? Like, we got to go back down the stairs to the, to get the buggy and stuff. She's like, I want to go that way. <laughs> so, like constantly on the verge of like having this, this breakdown. So, so I see my wife, she comes back from the bathroom with my son and they're downstairs. I was like, watch the, watch the buggy. Cause she wants to go this way for whatever reason. So she leads me like up to the stairs and there's a fucking gift shop like upstairs like at the, in, inside the hotel It's like a big Disney gift shop uh, So it's like okay well you know like we we're, we're here for like all week We don't need to go in here right now <laughs> We don't need to go in here right now She's like I don't want to go in So we're like okay fine so I, so I go into the gift shop and, and first thing the first thing we do at Disneyland is she shows me these fucking Belle from Beauty and the Beast golden high heels, okay? She's two and a half years old. She's like, look at those golden heels. I was like, oh yeah, they're re really nice. And she's like, can I get them? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. And then my wife and my son sort of like come up behind us with the with the buggy and stuff. And she's like, oh yeah, we, uh, we <laughs> when we were looking around, we came in here and she saw these heels. I was like, 
Ah, fuck. Okay, fine. So, so we buy these golden high heels for my two and a half year old daughter, right? And for the whole fucking week we're there, she slept in them and everything. Like, she would not take them off. <laughs> she would not remove these shoes. And they're like fucking hanging from the rafters now after a week of walking around Disneyland. There's like bits hanging off and like all of like the golden glitters like all been scuffed off and everything. <laughs> yeah, at least she's happy. So we had to buy her another pair, right? So that she can wear them inside at home because like they've been like all over France now, right? They're like covered in dirt and shit. So, um, so we had to buy You're two pairs. Right, Thanks. Thanks very Mr. much. Mr. Sips. Good time. Glad to see you back, man. Thanks. Hope you are well. Thanks. Can I ask if you got my package and did you like that? Oh! Hope you did smile. Bilski, you know what? I got your package. Uh, it's inside. I, I got it like right before we went away and I totally forgot about it until just now when you reminded me. I will try them. Uh, and thanks so much, red. man. I appreciate Take it. Take that it's donkey awesome. out thanks. back and do what needs to be done. Okay. Hashtag old yeller. JZL Tamago, thanks so much for the bits. And uh, Bilski, thanks so much for the donation as well. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll try them for sure. But, and thanks so much. It's super thoughtful of you. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Did I meet any fans? I met a guy um, when we were catching the bus. He, like, we were, I was getting luggage off the bus. And this guy looked at me. I was like, and he's like, Sips? I was like, yeah. He's like, holy shit. And I was like, oh, man, nice to meet you. And he's like, uh, were you just at Disney? He's like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, me too. He's just like with his kids. So I was like, yeah, that's nice. It was pretty good. That donation took ages to go through. I think my cool broke it with all of those, uh, with all those subs. Some of these donations came through like 20 minutes ago and they're only just coming through now. So do I mind people meeting? Do you mind meeting people who watch you? No, not at all. I don't mind at all. I, if, if you see me anywhere, come up and say hi to me. I'm very approachable. I'm not that, I'm creepy, but I'm not that creepy. Okay, it's fine. All right, what are we doing here? Opening this trunk? Oh, look at all this crap. Do we want all this stuff? We have a rusty axe, a rusty pickaxe, a rusty hammer, four great, stone Dad. repair kits, and four wood repair kits. Oh wait, we can make a marker for this grave too, right? Or flower bed. How do I make, um, how do I make a wooden marker for the grave? The royal service box will start working once the church opens again. Okay, so I guess we have to repair this church and stuff too. And we have to potentially... There's no gravestone and there's no grave fence either. So we have to start repairing graves and stuff. Fix the grave fence. Oh look, okay, so we can actually fix stuff here. Okay, let's... Let's get rid of this gross weed here. Oh, nice. Okay, so we can we can get rid of these bushes and get Welcome back, Ah, thanks so much, Commander Millie. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for the bits. Thanks. That's really nice. Um, hang on a second. So we want to get. Is this my en okay? This my so it's like Stardy. You have like energy that you have for. I was talking to Terps earlier, and he said that this game, you run out of energy really quick. So be careful. That's all I know about this game. Terps saying, don't run out of energy too quickly. Don't blow your load too quickly. It's saying that we need to go down here as well. Maybe we should go check it out. Can I? Can I not run? I don't appear to be able to run, so there's that too. Oh yeah, don't we have to go sell the flesh to the innkeeper in town or something? This looks like we're- it looks like we're on our way. It's also getting dark. You're doing great, Dad! Man, this- the graphics are sips, fucking great. you've been gone, so I've been oh. spending all my sips tips on Twitch thoughts, but nothing has filled your void. I'm oh. glad you're back, but I think my new financially incentivized friends might miss me. Altruism lol. Hey, thanks for the 17 bucks, man. I appreciate it. That's really nice of you. Thanks. Thanks so much. It's good to be back. It's nice. It's nice to be back. Um, are, will demons emerge like in the, in the, in the night? Is it safe to be out here in the night? This map is huge. Look at all these farm fields and stuff. You're doing great, Dad. 
I don't have to farm all this. Hey Sips, I officially become a homeowner today, so here's the last of my spare money before I have to spend it on boring things like food and a mortgage. Oh my god, yeah. Hey, thanks so much for giving me the rest of your money, uh, Joey676, and congrats on becoming a homeowner. You're, You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely hey, love Buckaroo, it. Hey Buckaroo, glad you're back. Look at what I got done this weekend. I think I deserve to finally be modded now. What did you get done this weekend, Erica? What? Look at what I got done this weekend. I think I find I deserve to finally be modded now, Erica. What did you have done? There's no link or anything. But thanks for the ten bucks, though. I appreciate it. Thanks, chat. Thanks. You're doing great, Dad. Is that Billy from that cartoon with the Jamaican Grim Reaper? <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. The dead horse. Oh look, there's people here. Hello, you must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told, but how did you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. Oh, but down, 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 down. <laughs> Where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Chain, Haradric's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about... Oh, oh, you better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is to sell you some recipes. All right, okay. Haradric. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Haradric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. You're doing great, Dad. Oh, sorry. You're How doing great, Dad. Thanks so much. Thanks very much, my cool. I appreciate it. You're the best. Also, Morgan the Ripper. Thanks so much for the, for the bits. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anyone took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Uh, I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Many years ago, there was an accident with an inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by Yo, royal did you authority. you the subnautical expansion that was announced last week? No. It sounds awesome. Also, welcome back. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Um, actually, no. I don't even want to know where you can get on authorized meat. But wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near the church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. <laughs> I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every... I don't know what these symbols are. I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Um, okay. Fine. Uh, hang on a second. Ink! Erica, you got a ta- uh, Erica, you got a tattoo! <laughs> Erica, why'd you get this tattoo of all tattoos, for Christ's sake? Look at Erica's tattoo! She got a forehead shine emote tattoo on her arm, by the looks of it. Wow. That's a- that- that's impressive, Erica. That's nice. How long did it take to get that done? It looks fantastic. Yeah, look at that. It's the exact, it's the best emote. Yeah. It's the best emote and it's now on your arm forever until maybe one day you like laser it off. Away. Erica, that's fantastic. Holy shit. Thanks for having a tattoo of one of my emotes on your skin. Also, Jacob, thanks so much for the donation. And Erto, thanks for the donation as well. I haven't seen anything about the Subnautica expansion, but... I fucking love that game, and uh, when it comes out, we will definitely play it, because holy shit, I can't get enough of Subnautica expansions like that. I mean, I haven't actually played one, but the southeastern corner of the village. I missed a whole bunch of stuff there. Letter to the blacksmith. Okay, hang on a second. Where did that task go? Also, we need to speak to Snake, apparently. Who's Snake? Who's this guy? Wagner. I'm not in a good mood. Go away. All right, Wagner, no problem. Oh my god, look at this weather. 
Dead Horse Tavern. I find I love the graphics in this game are phenomenal. I think this I think this is great. Holy shit, I'm really loving it. Oh, I see the symbols are for what seasons? Days? Days of the week? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, there's six. Six days? Or is it is it something to do with the days of the week or is it like the seasons? Will it be winter in this game? He's about to start stamping his meat. Seasons of the days. Start killing people to get more customers. Oh look, it's Jerry again. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sard, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing? I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored in there. I've unlocked a new technology and got... Gathering edible mushrooms. Gathering berries and gathering apples as well. Make a flower bed. Wheat. Exactly. I remember baking bread out of it. And pies. Mmm. Sweet berry pies. I've unlocked a new technology and got... Create dough. Create pastry dough. Create bread as well. Toast. Onion toast. Oh, that's good with beers. Sard. You know what? I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like one-sided relationship. Bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff like how you can get home. Questions? Um, yes, can you tell? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? Well, technically, yes. Sard, you smartass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. At his place. Wait, does he have his own place? Oh, look at this. Look at all the berries you can get. And fucking mushrooms and stuff, too. This is perfect. Look at this. Oh, what happened here? The garden. Property and forfeiture. For commercial use, contact the tavern owner, Haradric. Okay, I can claim this garden property at some point, apparently. What's this here? Garden. I can remove garden stuff if I want to. Okay. So that's where you build stuff for the garden. What's this? A place for stones and a place for wood logs. Oh, of course. This is my uh, this is my cottage. Use a blueprint desk to access the building interface and start building or removing an object in the area. Some objects will be built immediately. Some of them will need a little extra work with your hammer. This will spend time and energy. Okay, what do we want to make? We can increase yard space. I don't have any of this stuff. Timber stockpile. I can... I need some flitch and wooden beams as well. Do I need like some sort of table or something? Pick a resource to use. Rusty axe. I need some whetstones for that. Oh, well, I'd like, so we have a crapper here, but I don't think I can do any crapping in it. It doesn't seem that. Maybe you can unlock the ability to crap in your own crapper later on in the game? After a couple of days or something? Look, we're not too tired yet, but we're getting there. We're almost tired. Let's tidy up the area around our cottage a little bit get some of these points and stuff and then we can maybe think about going to clean up the graveyard as well because i think we have to do that right no you can't wait for me to accidentally break a quest sentence and make the game unfinishable wait can you fucking do that oh my god please tell me that that's not a thing that can happen oh yeah we want to check down here too right oh look at this Oh, hey, look it. Simple iron parts. What's that sound? Oh, my God. Damn gate. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Uh, that, That's snake, I think. Snake? Snake! Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. Oh, my God. Okay. So you have to get a whole bunch of stuff. All right. No problem. What's all this stuff in here? Wheat. Oh, it's flour. So we can build stuff down here too. This is a recipe for simple and tasty. Simple and tasty. 
use. You've unlocked a new technology and got create baked mushrooms and create baked apple. Nice. Okay, I'm out of energy, so I guess I have to go to bed, right? Start a new day tomorrow. Sleep. <laughs> okay. If this game has mods, I don't know if it does. There's a genie here now. I'm so refreshed. This is not good, not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a kipper. Wow, I've been here for, hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no. On the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sound like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, the half-dead skull. That jealous bastard. Ha ha. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here, especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. So is this a ghost? Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. So hang on a second. We got a burial certificate here. We have an exhumation permission and a letter to a blacksmith as well. And plus we want all this crap down here, right? Because some of this stuff drops like hinges and shit that we could maybe use to... Look, we got some nails and stuff here too. Alright, so far so good. It's a lot like Stardew. It feels like maybe more complicated somehow. Like there's more stuff to do. I mean, there's a lot to do in, in Stardew. But is it super satisfying when you when you clean up your graveyard and things are like working and stuff? Because it feels like that would be the case. No? No more rising through the pain. Farming is so much simpler. It's just different. Okay, cool. I can get behind that. So what do we actually need to clear this blockage? We need um, 10 wood wedges. We need two wooden planks and we need two more simple iron parts plus 30 energy and a pickaxe that's at 70% like durability or something. Do we do we need to cook stuff? I don't have the ingredients I need to cook all the stuff. Raw sliced meat apparently we can make though, but we want to sell this fresh meat to Ah fuck, it's nighttime again. That happens very quickly. Okay, let me carry on tidying up here. I can get some stone from these small stones. And I could chop down this tree as well to get what? What is this? Doing? There's a big old log here. So what do I just put this in here? Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's really neat. I like that. We can dig up the stump here, too, which doesn't give us much. Okay. I see what Terps means, though. We're, like, running out of energy fairly quickly here. We haven't done anything today, it seems, and already we're kind of running out. So we have these pieces of stone here. Can I just put all my stone in here? Or is this just for, like, really big stones? No. It's satisfying. You should dig up that body. Oh, yeah. I will go dig up that body. That's a good idea. Yeah, this is pretty satisfying, though. I like this. Are those? Are these my footprints? What are... Oh, fuck. You leave little footprints behind you, too. I like that. I like the details. We got a bucket of clear water. And then we have a stone covered in flowers. Can I cut down this really big tree? 
Thanks. Alexa, play Viking Gods. No. No, absolutely no. I don't want to listen to that song right now, but thanks very much. I'm depressed, lol. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks. You need to use the bucket for water. All right, okay. Gotcha. All right, so our graveyard is down here, right? We have to go dig up that body, like that guy said. What did he say it was in the bottom right grave? It was this guy here, right? It's got to be. Because it's like one of these things is not like the other. One of these things is kind of the same. But one of these guys is doing its own thing. It's this one here, right? To exhume a body, you need to have... Hang on. Before I do this, is there a way that I can actually look at my quest log? Tab? Map? Technologies? Known NPCs? My character? Sips, you should give the game from the depths ago if you haven't before. Okay, it's N. Press N. Known NPCs. Yorick. Find a stamp and sell the meat to Haradric. Bring the letter to Cresville the blacksmith and return. Reach, reach five skulls at the graveyard. Get a beer from the tavern. You need to get back home to your love. That's me. I don't have anything from him. There's no quest page. All oh, right, okay. So I, you just gotta remember. Pretty sure he said bottom right. Anyway, this one is like okay. You know what? We're doing it. We've got permission. Should we go take some flesh from it? door is locked. Oh yeah, shit, that's the church. That's not... He said to throw this body in the river, right? He said he wanted me to throw the body in the river. Let's cut some meat out of it first. We're gonna extract some flesh from this body. We've done it. We're gonna take this body and we're gonna find the river and we're gonna chuck it in. Where's the river exactly? Is there a map? I don't see a river anywhere. Maybe the river is down here. Ah, you know what? This is starting to look like maybe there's a river down here. Oh, there's like, aha. I've discovered the river. Okay. Are you allowed to just throw bodies into the river whenever you want to? What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what, now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. Haha, <laughs> he's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends. But you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Do you know where that river leads? The river is somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and some wood. Haha. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm. You need a nice, quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation, across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. All right, okay, so what, we're gonna get like some sort of incinerator? Oh, look at this. Uh... Holy crap, that's gonna take a while to repair. Okay, another thing that we need to, to do on the list of things. Can we fix like this fence and stuff? It doesn't look like you can. Like, what is this, for instance? Oh, is this where you have to make a crematorium? Nice, okay, so we can make a crematorium. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this. I think we're gonna be like out of um, energy in a minute though. Let me chop down this tree and harvest some of these berries and mushrooms and stuff. And then I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed and have a rest. Start again in the morning when I'm fully replenished. We have a lot of work to do around here. <clears throat> and this work isn't gonna do itself, right? That's why we're here, doing all the work. Eat flowers and berries and the trees grow back. More importantly, you can place rocks. 
I don't know, can you? This game is morbid and you love it. Stardew Valley patch looks crazy. Yeah, I know, right? I'm so refreshed. Oh, it's Yorick. Good. It's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I got the right one. I'm still so sad, though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine. I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. Bears the mark of his life. Sins are red skulls, and good deeds are white skulls. Even the best decorations can't make graveyard a peaceful place when it is full of red skulls. I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Haha. -ha. You better take good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets its skulls from its body parts. You can change a corpse's skulls by removing organs and embalming. The main way to increase your graveyard's um, beauty is to decorate graves with objects that have more Caesar's crowns. Each lion that has both a skull and a Caesar's crown counts as one Caesar's skull wearing Caesar's crown. Lions that have a red skull never count, but you need to fill them with Caesar's crowns to reach white skull lions. What? Like these lines here? It's a quality rating. If a body has any red skulls, just burn it. Right, okay. Sure. I, I, I don't... I, I need to think about that a bit longer, I think. Aw, oh, crap. Look at all this rain. Look at all this fucking rain. Oh, look, we can cook stuff on an open fire here, too. Um, <clears throat> it looks like there's, like, irrigation set up in the graveyard, but I think it's just the path. The path looks like it's, like, a bit of water, but it's, like, not, not water, right? Okay, so we can, uh, fix this up. We can fix up some of these graves. There we go. Oh, that's looking pretty good. We can fix up the stone as well to make it look better. Oh, look at that. The quality of our graveyard is currently minus 19. Oh my god, that's terrible. So hang on a second. So this guy has two red skulls and two white skulls. So it's only two because uh, we've done up the gravestone so it would be four if we didn't have these right it would be better is that how it works okay let's fix up some of these graves and see see how we do this is a this is a wooden one okay interesting so hang on so this one has what? Why are there so many skulls here? Are these like different attributes so we can cut? So hang on, if I do an autopsy, I can cut out these bad bits? If you give them nicer gravestones defenses, they go up in rating. You should buy the fast travel stone ASAP. It's a good dude. Oh, so this is a, a good dude. So we get two, three um, Caesar's crowns from fixing this stuff up, but because he's got these two bad skulls, it, it, it cancels out two of them as well, right? This one, we can actually build a fence and gravestone, but I don't have the stuff that I need for it. This is a wooden cross that can be fixed. You're doing great, Dad! Hey, Sips. Hey. Why do women always have sex with the lights off? I don't because know. they never like seeing a man have a good time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hey, thanks so much, Perfect Mistakey. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, so I think I'm out of these kits. But it said that I could craft more. Oh, look at this. If I get some peat and two red flowers, I can make a flower bed. I can also remove graves and stuff, too. Wait, did that donkey drop off any new corpses? 
It doesn't look like he has, actually. Okay, good. I'll pick up some stuff here. Okay, so the church is not open. There's nothing in here. Where do I craft these repair kits? Do I craft them back at my cottage? You need to farm peat or buy off old one leg. Old one leg. A corpse hatch. Oh, nice. You can make a corpse hatch. And this is like the little chimney. Some white flowers. I don't really want to spend all my time picking flowers though, right? Okay, so these are build benches, but where's like a grindstone? Oh wait, do I, is, there, is there a crafting bench down in my mortuary? Is that where it is? Corpse hatch lets the donkey dump corpses inside instead of outside. That's awesome. Okay, that's really good. I can clear this out, but I don't have what I need to do it. Can repair this desk. Let's repair this desk and see what happens. Oh, I see. So we can we can build some more stuff down here. And what's this? This is the inside corpse hatch. So that's where he's gonna drop the, the corpses. Hey, where's my beer? I don't have any beer. See you later. I forgot to get it. I forgot that he wanted beer. Okay, so we have the autopsy table here. But where can I craft these, um, where can I craft these repair kits so that I can continue repairing the, um, the graveyard? Does anybody know? Actually, you know what? Let me figure it out for myself, okay? Let me try to figure it out. I bet you it's here, right? Trunk, a timber stock pile, increase the art space in a stone stock pile. Okay, it's not there. There's nothing in this trunk. Do I have like a, I can cook here. Maybe it's down here. I can build a trunk there. Okay, it's not in my basement. So that means it's gotta be, um, go fishing. <laughs> go to my knowledge tree. <clears throat> oh wait, do I need to actually, do I need to, theology, book writing, farming and nature, it's smithing, and building, anatomy and alchemy, hard spares and soft spares, theology, oh I can make um, simple gravestones, stone cutter, stone cutter 2. So I can unlock some of this stuff. Book writing, nature, transplanting, and beekeeping. Wow, smithing, I can't do any. Building, I can do some sawing. I can create a wood billet. Craft it at the saw horse circular saw and do mining as well. Okay, let's do that. Firewood and woodworking. Aha, here's the wood repair kits. Crafted at carpenter's workbench. So can I build a carpenter's and cookery? Simple and tasty bread and a meat fiesta. Okay, so I can make a carpenter's workbench. So I'm assuming I can build one of these out here or maybe inside my house. Sawhorse. Carpenter's workbench. So I need simple iron parts and some flitch. This is a sawhorse, which I guess I can. Ah, I can make some flitch. Ah, okay, cool. Ah, wonderful. Okay, so hang on a second. What else do I need for this carpenter's bench? I need some simple, it's crafted at a wooden anvil, anvil, anvil two. Okay, how do I make a wooden anvil, anvil, anvil two? This is a grindstone. Let's get rid of this stone here that's in the way. 
wooden, 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 wooden anvil too. Does that come under smithing? Or crafting? Here's the stone repair kit. Mining. Firewood. Assembly stand. Circular saw. Stone carving. I must be able to make this like straight away, right? Give old gravy my regards. I must away. As I mustn't be here yet. Not yet. Hey, Tallulah about town. Did you do all the writing for this game? <laughs> it's very similar. It's very similar. Very similar. Timber stockpile. Sawhorse, which I made. Increased yard space, stone stockpile, and a trunk. So I need to get some more of these things. These these uh, these metal um, these metal hingy things, right? That's what I need. I need a technology, apparently. And what's this here? This is the garden. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Let me grab some of this stuff. And then I'll go to bed. Ah, fuck, I love games like this. I like, I, I like this. I, I, I really, I like Stardew a lot. And this, this is great so far. This is really good. Is there anything else up here that I need to, like, pick or get? Some, oh, what's this? I need a technology for that. I know, like a fucking swamp here, and it looks like there's like some mining nodes and stuff here. I'll just explore a little bit and then I'll head home, okay? What's this? There's no way I can remove it. So we can clear out. There's like a, some sort of barrier there. And we can dig up some of these like old stumps and shit too. Oh my god. We got two big logs from digging up that old stump. I'm gonna have to take them back. So anything that's in my in my wood stockpile I can use for crafting because I was able to cut this log here. Oh, that's fucking perfect. That's great. That's great. All right, we just got to figure out how to make a wooden anvil apparently so that I can make um, some of that stuff. Daytime better go back to sleep. You unlock it in firewood. Oh, okay. I'm so refreshed. Uh oh, it's Jerry again. The Inquisitor. I've just seen the Inquisitor right nearby, going up the path to Witch Hill. Oh, sorry, he'll kill me, or even worse. Calm down, I'll go distract him. Maybe I'll find something on this hill that will help me get home. Where's this hill? The village. What? There's an inquisitor going up a hill apparently. Jerry's like really scared of him. Up here? It's gotta be up here, right? We're on we're on a hill. We're going up a hill now. We'll go explore up here, look. We can't get by there. What's this place meant to be? An apiary. So this is where we're gonna do, um, is this where we're gonna set up like beehives and stuff? Is that an apiary? Or is it like a place where we're going to, yeah, look, there, I see some bees up there. It's gotta be, right? Get it? It's gotta, it's gotta be. It's, it's gotta be, because, because it's bees. No? No. Is the ape pen. The apiary is the ape. All oh, right. Okay. So we're gonna have. Uh, that's fucking nice. So we can have like an army of apes that go around and like uh, put the corpses in the graves for us, do all the work and shit for us too. That'll be really good. I'm looking forward to that. Oh look, we got a new body, guys. Happy days. All right. Let's see who this guy is. Let's. He's, he's kind of bad. Let's take his... We'll extract his flesh. So we can sell it at the inn. Right? Oh, we took... We took one of his good parts. That's annoying. Alright. Let's bury him in this open grave here that we've got. The other guy that we... We threw down the river. Here we go. 
Let's shove him in here. Perfect. Okay. Great fence. Gravestone. We don't have the things that we need for this, but I can put a new gravesite. We can put one here. 